Uh, so today at Media Day, we're here downtown Chicago, and we're meeting with a lot of different, um, obviously the whole, all, every men and women, men's and women's Big Ten basketball team is here with representatives and their coaches. We've been sitting at our tables um, interviewing uh, with newspapers, TV stations, um, various writers for school papers as well. I just get to be asked a lot of, a lot of similar questions over and over again today. We get to, uh, will you make the NCAA tournament just about once every two and a half minutes, so it, we, we get that one all the time. You know, you try to mix it up a little bit, but eventually the same stuff kind of, you know, said. Um, here we, Kendall and I bake some goods from our Willie's Wildcat cookbook, and um, we've attracted a lot of people to our table over here munched on the food. <laughs> so last night, Allison and I made some awesome treats here, and... Um, well, I don't know. I mean, they were, we made some Oreo balls, which are really easy to make. They're very simple and they're delicious. So we're making Oreo balls. And when we make them, we try not to eat them because they're just not really, you know, they're really good, but we're going to save everyone else them. So we don't eat while we bake because it's like against the rules. Oh my gosh. Kendall, are you making <laughs> Oreo balls? No. <laughs> no. Oh, we're going to eat them last. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we've had a lot of media people come and just talk to us and enjoy the food. I mean, it's a great idea, I think, because there's tables around, but there's no food on them. It's just talking. So, I mean, it's nice to have a little bit of an appetizer kind of thing. So, it's definitely helped lighten the mood a little bit. We've got, we've got nothing over here. i got a cup of water, but they've got, uh, they got apples, Oreos. they got everything over there. I tried all of them, yeah. Quite, quite delicious. Yeah, so downstairs, different uh, interviews for different networks. Um, Sirius XM was doing was doing interviews down there. Big Ten Network had some interviews uh, as well as ESPN. Um, so it kind of kind of different things, a couple fun things, get to know the players type of thing. They asked me what uh, what animal I want to be, and I tell them I want to be a golden eagle because uh, I just I saw this YouTube video a while ago where where a golden eagle like flew down off this mountain and picked up a goat and was flying with the goat and, and just dropped it over this mountain. And I thought it was pretty cool. They asked me what, what sport I would want to play if I, if I didn't play basketball. I told them uh, probably football. I'd want to be a receiver uh, because when I, when I played, in, I played one foot year of football in eighth grade, and I was probably the skinniest guy on the team, and the coach wanted to put me on the offensive line as center. So I, I don't think I really fulfilled my true football potential. Yeah, the photo shoot was fun. It was kind of different. I've never done it before for the Big Ten, so it was cool. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect. I wasn't sure if they'd put me in a uniform or something, but I was just in my dress clothes, and I posed with, like, a little Big Ten Network sign and made some, like, funny faces, serious. Like, it was, it was fun. It was, I was like, oh, this is kind of fun. Maybe I, should, maybe I should look into modeling, you know, and I did a little face, a little Vogue, you know, whatever. I walked into the photo shoot eating a box of cereal, and they said, they asked me if I wanted to do the photo shoot with the box of cereal, so I said, said absolutely and just you know just started eating and having fun I think I I think I entertained entertained them as much as I entertained myself on that one so that was fun